Hey there, it's Chris Murray from childcare-marketing.com coming to you with another weekly video tip. This week I want to talk to you about something that um, is a question that I've been getting asked a ton by my clients and followers. And it's related to the fact of what's going on in this country where many states, state by state by state, are reducing their subsidy programs, their Title 20 and their other subsidy programs in different states, especially lately I've seen in Kentucky, they, it just happened. And so it's impacting you guys because this level of clientele that was reliant on these subsidy programs is no longer able to afford you. And so what you need to do and what I get asked is, how do I attract more private pay clients into my program? And so what I want to do is share with you some of the key strategies um, that can help you with this. So the first strategy is to leverage your existing clientele who are private pays. So what I want you to do is I want you to actually make a list of current and alumni private pay clients and learn more about them. The more that you can learn about them and even profile them, maybe even create an avatar of them, uh, learn about where they live, where they work, what their occupations are, um, what do they do in their spare time, where do they hang out, where do they eat, where do they shop, what do they read, what websites do they go to. So the more you can really get information about your privates, and you can do this through a survey or a focus group, a mini focus group in your program, or just talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, is that you'll be able to leverage your knowledge of where they work and live and go out and attract more of them and reach them more effectively. Okay. The other thing that you want to do is you want to uh, kind of infiltrate, if you will, into the workplace with your existing parent clients so that if you get the word, um, the buzz going in the workplace, you'll be able to attract more of their coworkers. And a, a client of mine actually recent, just told me this the other day, that she emailed um, a picture of a, uh, her children holding their Valentine's Day artwork, and she emailed a picture of that to all of her parent clients. And they opened the email, or on their smartphone while sitting in a meeting, and were able to show the picture, and it was very charming, to all of their coworkers. And she actually got three or four tours, and probably will get some enrollments, just from that one thing. And they're all private pay. Okay, so if you can see the power of leveraging your existing private pay clientele. So that's the first strategy. The second strategy is to reach out to local employers in a very systematic and strategic way with a program. Create a package or a program just for the local employers that are a good fit with your program, either geographically or um, that you have some other affinity with. Okay, And maybe call it a preferred employer program and all of their employees get a 5% discount. There's also um, certain tax breaks available and they can, if they provide childcare as a benefit through you, then there's a tax, um, sometimes there's a tax break for that company and you'll have to research that in your local area. But these are all fabulous strategies to try to attract more private pay clients to your program. Okay, so I want you to take action on those things today to attract more privates and watch your enrollment grow. And this has been Chris Murray and we'll talk to you soon.